All right, you guys, I am gonna show you guys a really quick and easy recipe with my cute, fun little um, gadget here. So I have some Pillsbury dough pie crust that you buy like in the fridge section. And I have this fun little pumpkin cutout. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do that. And we're gonna pull it out. Look how oh, cute that cute. is. All right, I'm gonna do that on the same here on this side. So I'm gonna do two on each side, just like that. So we're gonna press it in. All right, oh. our pumpkins are ready. Oh, yeah. Next little shape here, I have an acorn. Look how cute that is. We're gonna open that up, same thing. You're gonna go ahead and push it just like that. Give me a nice push. This gadget is so fun. And it's so easy too, because you use the outside to make the outline. And then we use the inside for another part. So we're gonna push that there. All right, pop it out. Oh, so cute. cute. Same idea here. Give me a right. Amazing! Wow. All right, I'm gonna take that outline just like that and pop it off just to get my hands an easier little access to all of our. Oh my gosh, that's so cute! That's adorable. All right, same idea with our pumpkin here. We're gonna go ahead and pop that out just like that. Gorgeous! Oh my gosh. All right, so next up, I'm gonna grab a bowl here. And now I'm gonna grab my pumpkin puree. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that whole thing in there, like so. And basically follow the recipe of what it calls for on the can. So this calls for one cup of granulated sugar, three eggs, looking good, some ground cinnamon, about like a fourth teaspoon, which is about that because I know my teaspoons, obviously. <laughs> pumpkin pie spice. I'm gonna use pumpkin pie, pie spice because it calls for clove and I don't have any, so I'm just gonna wing the rest of it. It does call for nutmeg. And do some of that in there. Easy on the nutmeg because it's quite strong. Looking good, all right. And now we're gonna mix it up until it makes a nice and even paste. Basically a pumpkin pie filling. All right, once that pumpkin pie filling is ready to go, what we're gonna do now so you're gonna go ahead and grab that fun little gadget. I'm gonna lay it right here. So I'm gonna grab that base just like that. The base will be the one that's um, like, uh, what's it called? That doesn't have the little designs. I'm gonna make a little pocket, kind of like a dumpling, just like so. All right, so once I have that little pocket made, I'm gonna grab a spoon and spoon a couple of little scoops of that pumpkin pie filling in there, just like so. Just basically filling it up just about that, looking good. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this pumpkin. And what's fun about this is when I pick it up, the cutouts should come out or I have to take them out. <laughs> oh, I lied, I have to take them out. Ugh, the work. No, but it should be easy because they do have a bit of a cutout. So we're just gonna go ahead and pull those out like so. All right, so flip that, make sure that the uh, stems are facing the same way. I'm gonna place that on top just like so. And here's the fun part. I'm gonna grab this other side and we're gonna close it. And what that's gonna do is gonna pinch the sides just like that. Oh gosh, I'm nervous, you guys. This is the first time I'm using this gadget, but I'm so excited. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a squeeze. Let's see if I accidentally put too much filling in there. I really hope I didn't. All right, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> oh How cute okay. is that? Oh my gosh, that gives that's such cool. a little elevated look with the little ridges on the side. Oh wow. my goodness. <gasps> That's cute. That is adorable. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hand here, flip it, and then take it out. It should come out easy because it's plastic. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out just like so, nice and easy, looking good. Voila. Okay, okay I'm gonna move it over here to my parchment paper just like that. Oh, that is so cute. Yeah, I mean, there's some room for improvement there. I wanna make sure I don't get that, but we're gonna learn as we go. So we're gonna do the other one here with the pumpkin. I'm gonna flip it. We're gonna open it up this way like that okay and then i'm gonna put it on my hand so that way oh yeah much better it's like i said you guys we're learning together here oh that was so much better yeah that was good. okay so we're gonna do that <laughs> okay i'm gonna put that here like so same idea you guys what could i put in the acorn filling to make it make sense because like pumpkin pie obviously pumpkin this little gadget also came um with an apple so you would do apple pie but what would we do acorn because pecan obviously not an acorn so let me know if there's like an acorn pie out there that i don't know about 
We're gonna place this face down just like that. So we're gonna go ahead and close it up. Make sure you give it a nice press, flip it. All right, I'm gonna open it up, flip it onto my hand. Ooh, oh, that's okay. cute. Oh, I like that acorn. That's really adorable. That's I'm gonna adorable. give it another little extra press just to make sure that it's nice in there. All right, you guys, last one there. If you guys can give me any tips and tricks how to make these two stick better, I'm a little nervous. Like the first two stuck. These ones, I don't know why they're not, they're not cooperating. So let's fingers crossed on that one. I'm a little nervous. All right, so before we pop that in the oven, I have a little egg yolk wash, and this is just gonna make it a nice, fun little gold, golden color. Just like a nice, ooh, ooh. <laughs> the more you push it, little things come out, that's so cute. Delicious. All right, so now we're gonna pop that in the oven at 450 for about 20 minutes. And I cannot wait to show you guys and also cannot wait to hope that it looks nice. Okay. Okay. All right, you guys, look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, look at the little cutouts. Okay, we're gonna pop them on our plate here. I let them cool off for a little bit just so that way they weren't burning my mouth. All right, let's do pumpkin acorn, pumpkin, and acorn. That's oh so cute. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look how wow. cute that is. And aside from cute, I bet it's gonna be absolutely delicious. Probably. Very crunchy, you know? Yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna take a bite of the pumpkin. I know they all taste the same, but you know, pumpkin pie, pumpkin. <laughs> oh okay. my gosh. All right, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Mm. Wow. That literally tastes like, like this should be a McDonald's for some reason. <laughs> oh it's, my gosh. Okay, mm. quick. That is so yummy and look, hands-free, I'm telling you, this is like perfect to bring to like a party, wow. to your workplace, for the holiday season. Oh my gosh, this, this is, adorable. is so yummy. It's so mm. yummy. Wow. And I think mm -hmm. some people like, like a little bit of pumpkin, but then like a lot yeah. of bread. This is a really good, like, a little substitute for that because it's more bready. It's not so pumpkin heavy. Mm, I bet you would even like it. Probably. Mm, I'm gonna try. Not too bad. No, it's not mine. <laughs>